case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals in 2010 took a critical stance on the level and quality of evidence required to ensure a fair criminal conviction. In a heated case, Brooks v. State, the court found itself wrestling with the question of adequacy and the standards of evidence in delivering a guilty verdict. At the heart of the turmoil was a defendant, charged with drug possession and meted out a hefty 25-year sentence. The defense challenged the conviction, insisting the state had failed in demonstrating that the defendant intended to deliver the drugs, a requisite for the conviction. On initial appeal, the court sided with the defense. It determined that the evidence fell short of the legal threshold needed to prove an intent to distribute the drugs. Unbowed, the state sought a discretionary review, posing two significant questions, the difference between legal and factual sufficiency, and whether the lower court appropriately highlighted why the evidence was legally permissible but factually weak. In a split decision, a majority of the judges rejected the notion that there exists a meaningful difference between legal and factual sufficiency. They, therefore, concluded that the courts should only utilize the legal sufficiency standard in determining the sufficiency of evidence in criminal cases. Ultimately, the court settled on the Jackson v. Virginia standard to scrutinize the adequacy of evidence. This key decision usurped the Cluis factual sufficiency standard, overriding all previous conflicting standards. With this fresh interpretation, the case was catapulted back to the appeal court to be re-evaluated and re-judged under the newly instituted Jackson v. Virginia standard, a resounding victory for legal clarity and the uniform application of justice. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.